Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe on that. What's happening, man? This is Star and Charge Star Life. We back at it with another edition of Certified Star. We figure out what makes people stars for real, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I keep on bumping into y'all, man. On some, on some wild, on some, you feel me? <laughs> Random, just every little place. Star quality be where the money is. You know what I'm saying? Star quality be where the stars is at. No, no, yeah. And as many times as I ran into you, ain't never really had a, a sit down. You feel me? So we could. Really get to know EBK Trey B, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but I need both the guests on the couch to go ahead and introduce themselves real quick. Yes, yeah, EBK Trey B, man, Southeast, 90 It's Kaida, Case Gang. Okay, okay, so here at Certified Star, we like to do it. Our guests, you feel me? We want you to take us back to the trap, take us back to where y'all originally from. So I'm from Stockton, from the Southeast. Last game, that's all. Last game, you know, taking these poles, taking these boards, whatever, and upgraded from there. 12, 13. I feel that. Um, how was your childhood growing up out there in um, Stockton? Especially in the streets, I ain't pay no attention to that shit till I was like 12, 11. God, so my shit was pretty much cool. Lived with my dad my whole life, so yeah. I feel that you didn't. Uh, you didn't live with your mama. Your mama wasn't there. Hell, no, I stayed with my dad. My whole life lived with my dad. Mm, I feel that. Uh, what schools was you going to growing up? Out of town, down there. Went to school out north, Kennedy, Pulley, went to school out south, Van Buren, and um, Hamilton. Uh, went to Duffy Sierra Middle School, Stag High School. That. Mm. I feel like you had any siblings growing up? Uh, yeah, I got brothers and sisters. Mm. I'm the oldest, though. Oh, you the oldest, so you, you the you the big bro for real. Oh, you gotta put it, keep it together. Uh, What's the age range? Like they hella far apart from me? Or did, was y'all able to like go to school together? My sister Cheyenne, she like two years younger than me, so she was around me for like, like my little brother for me growing up. Mmm. And then my other little siblings, like they hella younger. I feel that. What kind of uh, what kind of did you up in in the schoolhouse? You feel me? Was you? Cool, calm, collected. You the chill nigga. You the class clown. You getting in trouble. What kind of what kind of kid was you? I was kind of all that one for. I was going hell. Known for getting in fights. Known for bullying. <laughs> like that. Regular high school. You was you was soccer. My mama had to do a couple. Man, why was you? What's the problem? You just you high just. School, bro, that's where it needs. High school really where you make your name for so they're basically making their name. Oh god. We just gotta make their name for themselves, so do a hell of a little shit. Just turn the show no no Can't, but you can at the same time. When uh when did you start getting into the music? Was you uh doing during yeah, the school? Being rapping, like, even in high school, I, where I used to play around type shows a few stuff like that. Like, but I never like took it serious for it. I was like, until I was like 17, 18. So I moved out when I was like 16. So around like 17, 18 type. And I was making my own songs, and, but I wasn't even taking that serious. I just make that shit, make it like. Nobody never heard like on the game type. Mm. And then me and Jock went to Juvenile Hall, and we was like, we finna rap for 
but I still was with him taking back to TV, so. Like, Jock knew he was going to get rich off rap. Me, I always thought I was going to get rich off some other shit. Mm-hmm. Robin and the so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And you said y'all was in juvenile. How old, how old was y'all when y'all was talking about stuff like this? Sixteen. Sixteen. Mm, that's what's up. What, what was you? What was you doing that got you in juvenile though, bro? You been a high boy? What was going on? Yeah. Awesome. Trying to get rich off a of robbery. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to jail playing. Mm, how long? Uh, how long you uh, go down for? Months. Mm. Yeah, to us longer for her because we think we're gonna get out of a few weeks type of a juvenile court you get out for her. Like, you ain't shooting nobody, killing nobody, you can get out. But it was totally different. We went there thinking we finna get juvenile court. Probation officer came in here like, yeah, y'all getting charged as an adult with the woo. Whoa. So we went left. That's the only reason why we did ten months type because we took a strike. So they was like, yeah, you can either do six years with no strike or take 10 months with a strike. And at first, at first I'm like, I'm going to do my six type shit, but we got to take the same deal. So mm. we came to an agreement. I'm like, going to take the strike. Get out of here. Damn. And then for those that don't know, what is like a, what is a strike? Yeah, a strike like, like baseball, but it's with your life. You get them three strikes, you're out of here. For life. Uh, yeah. Like if we have never took them motherfuckers, we probably would have never even been out to rap. Mm-hmm. At the time we did start rapping type shit for like 2018, we would have never been out at that time. We probably would never got out of jail until like last Mmm, facts. That's crazy how like you could be in the hall, you feel me, talking about what's gonna what y'all got planned for the future, what y'all got going happen then when y'all out making what y'all said happen. Say it was like when we was in there like all the CEOs like, they already knew me and Dr. Brothers type shit. Like, yeah. Like our sales right next to each other, and everybody got their own sales doing the hall. Our sales right next to each other. We'll just get on the vent. We'll get a stand on top of the sink and be talking through the vent. Like, yeah, all night, five in the morning, six in the morning, it's breakfast time now. We gotta go out for breakfast. We've been up all night just talking for yeah for a week. Yeah. We finna whoop you whoop, bringing up old sh** before we went down. That's crazy. So, for those that don't know, what, what's your relationship with Jock? How y'all, how y'all know each other? I really, I knew Jock, like, I really knew Jock since we was babies for real, but I don't remember that part time. I'm gonna tell you, that's another story time. <laughs> for real. <laughs> nah, we, wait, we might have time, because since y'all know each other as babies for real? Weird. Like on some like family. I met Jock when I was like twelve type. As old as time. I met him was twelve when he was locked in. Like I fucking locked in me hard. Dirk Julie, like little kids type shit. Dirk, my blood cousins. I knew them since babies for her, for her. Mm. So I like, was all locked in for. Her. But like on some recent type, shit, we recently just found out that we knew each other since babies. Like we was at our auntie house at Jock Mama house, and she got a brother. She got a brother named Lee. <laughs> and I can't remember, we talking to somebody, somebody, some OG. He from our op hood too, you feel me? He at the house. Our aunt, he at the house. He from the sucker hood or whatever. But he telling us where the hell it was. And he asking me who I was. Like, and I know he know who my daddy is. So I'm like, yeah, and he's like, my daddy Ricky Gaines type. And then, Jock and Mama brother, Uncle Lee, he like, Ricky Gaines, like, he got a baby with a named Tiffany, with the whoop. I'm like, yeah, my mama, with the whoop. Hey, on God, he like me. It's some real movie. He like, he walk up to me, try to hug me. He like, Trey? I'm like, what the? Stop playing with me, because he really knew me for hell long. Uncle Lee knew me since I was like 12 years old, 13 years old, you feel me? So it's the fact, and then it's like, it's, it's like a funny ass story, because Auntie Jody, and my mama done met hella times after this, you feel me? So they never brought it up. They don't even remember this until right now. <laughs> Uncle Lee started like, he telling Jock Mama, like, nigga, this Trey, this Tiffany son. What do you remember Tiffany? And now everybody like, wait, your mama, your mama Tiffany, is that Tiffany? 
now I started clicking like they telling me they showed me a picture of me and Jocko his little ass babies type shit, two, three years old. I thought you was Uncle Lisa with you whoop. I'm like, bro, y'all sound crazy like hell no, y'all couldn't have thought I was this beast of mama or whatever the fuck. I'm like y'all couldn't have thought I was this baby. But then come to find out they thought my little sister was his baby. He got it confused, like their memory was confused. Like they thought I was already born. Mm. They thought my little sister, my mom was pregnant with my little sister, but they thought that was his baby type, but he ended up being my dad baby too type. Man. So crazy. That sound like so more. I was on my mom's call. Like you was <laughs> ready to go left on her and him. Oh God, what? You nah. hella weird. That's so crazy. That's crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, who out of all your who was rapping first? Was it, it was Jock that was rapping first or? That's crazy. When uh when did you start to finally you feel like see some traction in your career? Mm -hmm. Last year, two thousand two. Was it like a specific song that you dropped that you feel like really just turned you up or? Nah, I was already turned up before I even started dropping my own songs. I already had my own name. Like, mm hmm. Like before I drop, like I already had a little songs with millions of views, me, Jock and Sloby, and that so like I already people already knew who I was, but I, I had a different name. Like, like that man, he does man. Mm -hmm. he, he that one. <laughs> <laughs> he be doing, you feel me, shit like that. So everybody's tapping. So when I did start rapping, that's really why everybody was already tuned in. Like, oh, that he, he be gay, Trey be really rapping now. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I just started getting better over time for mm -hmm. 2022. I just dropped a hell of a You feel like, uh, was it a little bit, was it like staying consistent too? Because you know how like a lot of people get their little buzz and they just disappear, but I feel like you kind of been dropping in the spotlight. You feel me? Doing your thing. Mm -hmm. For sure, about consistency. For sure. I be trying to drop more than what I do be dropping. I be feeling like I'm not even consistent for it. You don't think so? Yeah. No, you doing you doing pretty smooth, you feel me? You doing your little you just recently dropped a project too. <clears throat> Let's get into the project that you dropped. Mm -hmm. Project Cooley Brenner. Mm -hmm. Project cool. I what made you uh want to make that for real. I already have songs already ready for that book, but I have Cause at first it wasn't even going to be no features on my mom. Mm -hmm. But that's what took it longer. So I was like, fuck, I got to get something I need. Right. Do some features. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just started getting better over time. Like, mm-hmm. Like, just and we talking about the Stick Up Kid for those that don't know. So what made you come up with that name for the project? Mm -hmm. Best way to describe myself. <laughs> And you came with 15 songs too. What, what made you do 15? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like 15 was like. I didn't even feel like that was enough. I was going to put like 20 some songs for him, but I was like, no, nah, that's too much. Mm -hmm. so I just put like 15. So that way I'm able to put some of the other songs I already got recorded towards my next album. You know? Right, right. Always working ahead. Yeah. What's like your top three songs off, off the album that you think people should really, you feel me, tap into? Some Light, uh, Red and Ruby, and Top Three. For sure, for sure, Top Three. Mm, I feel that. So, where did you uh, get your name from? And what does it stand for? My name always been Trainblood since a little. Mm-hmm. 
try to get something in the third. Okay, I feel that. What's the beginning for? What's your name? Of your name, EBK. What is EBK stand for? <laughs> Everybody killed. Okay, so EBK is like a, like a rap group. What is EBK for those that don't know? Rap group. Rap group, for sure, for sure. People be looking at it as a gang or whatever, but that's going to be looked at as a gang no matter what. Any any black people that's huddled, huddled up in the group, that's a gang to the police, to the Bottom outside line. eyes. Yeah. Uh, my mama. Mm, facts. Who, who's all a part of uh, EBK? Me, Jai, Julie, Dirk, uh, Sleazy B, Sleaze, R Sleaze, my brother Dada, my brother Wes, my little brother Little Cam, my little mom Blaine, uh, J Bub, Back Dub. Pretty much, pretty much eat everywhere. Um, Jose, really EBK, my mama. I feel that. that. How's uh, how's how's Jabo doing? How's Jabo doing? Was last time you talked to him? Like every two weeks or a month or something, he called me or something. Mm -hmm. Should be doing cool. Just trying to figure it out. Trying to figure Free out what he's gonna be doing. How's hard? How's hard? Be doing up in there. He good. He in the feds right now. Mmm, the feds. Ooh, that's a little more serious. You know what I mean, man. Couple more years to go. Facts, facts. What's your opinion on uh on Jabo's situation? I don't know what that nigga in jail for. Oh <laughs> 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 God. My mama's, my mama's. I don't even know what that nigga got going on. He don't even know what he got going on. From what, he, from what he's telling me, like, he went down for a poll, I guess. And, he, I don't know. He supposedly served his time for his, his gun charge, but now they trying to hold him for some other shit. Nobody knows what's going on. Mm. They tell the police, say, this is what it is. So it's just up in the air right now. How uh, how y'all been dealing with the passing of uh, uh, Young Slobby? It's been a, it's been a few months. You feel me? Niggas been sick. Niggas been trying to fight these demons. Get high. Niggas don't even try to think about that. That's crazy, man. It's a big breath. Hella smarter now. Go way crazy for what we was doing for sure, for sure. Got to keep having your name all the way alive. Facts, facts, facts. How you been moving since after he's passed? You feel me like you feel like you had to move any differently? Hell no, I ain't had to move no differently. I was already moving. Moving a certain way already. Anyway, like, mm -hmm. Just like when I'm in Stockton, I say you have to move differently, but like, well not even like move the certain way. So I don't even. I go to Stockton like once a week, once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't even to be out there. Like that's the only thing that the difference is now. Instead of me being out there for hella weeks on days or weeks, months or whatever, the fuck, I never just see the Stockton for sure, for sure. Because mm -hmm. you're gonna end up in jail. And the pop, some crazy. For sure. So I'd be go to Stockton, see my kids, do my due diligence, and get the, the farther away you is from your hometown, the more money it is, for sure. You feel like there's hella hate in, in the hometown? Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's hella love in Stockton, too. Like, everybody loves us, for sure, for sure. Like, all the fans. Like all the people that's not 
in the politics and shit. for sure, for sure. It's just like, like that was like, you feel me? This nigga just been rapping before us. Like, it's been rapping for my opposite for hella long. Like, you feel me? It's just the fact that we, we the ones popping, or we the youngest that blew up, you feel me? That, you know, some niggas be feeling that real way. Some niggas don't even feel no type of way about us for real. They just follow on the next nigga. Uh, he don't no, like, uh, nah, I like these niggas. But if some some person, it'd be a whole different scenario. <laughs> That's how it would be, man. So, how you feel like the music scene is? Out in the bay right now. You just see in the bay go crazy. That's really going crazy in car. It's just uh, I don't know. People be trying to say the Bay Area blackball. I feel like they not though. Mm. <laughs> they for sure got blackball. Y'all really got people that's in the industry for real. people that really made it for real. even young niggas. I got twenty four K golden. He didn't want to. Fair. From the Bay right now, that's really in the industry for her. They love Q Black Boy. It's just like this street rappers black ball, but I feel like street rappers black ball everywhere type shit mm -hmm. for her. Like you say, but Stockton black ball too, if that's the case, and ain't nobody from Stockton in the industry. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you feel like Stockton doing? Stockton cool, like. It's just like, I don't know, Stockton just got, that's the thing, Stockton was for Shelly black ball, like. At one point in time, nobody knew what Stockton was. Like, we bring up Stockton. And so now it's like everybody know about Stockton. Type. That was the only thing. Like, to know about us, like, we were adventures. We was in SAC, we in Oakland, we in different places. And we rapping, so it started spreading all over. Mm -hmm. How was that feeling when you feel me? You started seeing, like, Y'all was just going crazy, like everyone was just tapped in with y'all, streaming y'all. I mean, how was that feeling for you? It was regular at first when I see when we first started rapping. Like, see lady, done da da, 2100 showcases and shit. It was like regular, like, it used to be cool, like, fans to see it. It was like regular at first. As of now, it's like, when you see fans, I be fake man, mad, I'm running in the hands like damn. <laughs> now they take videos, now everybody know where I'm at now. Man, yeah, remember them remember them fans that we ran into when uh mm -hmm. we was in where was we at? Seattle. Uh Seattle. Man, big group of kids, like at least six, seven, eight of them like, oh my god, it's Trevi. Hey no way Trevi is here right now. Remember that? You was there too. You was there too, huh? Oh my mama in the parking lot. Love it. They was tripping. <laughs> but that be some of the that see be some of the pros and the cons of rapping. What you feel like some more pros and some more cons of rapping is being a rapper pop. Uh, what you say? Man, pros and cons. <laughs> rapper, man. Mm hmm I ain't gonna lie. It's pros, like, you mean connections, like, say, like, even the rap, you making money, you gonna make money, if, especially you popping, you gonna make money no matter what. That's a pro for sure, like, you gonna be meeting hella people, hella people that got their hands in all type of little different shit. And they ready to open them doors for you, because you a rapper and they for sure. Like cons, it'd be like everybody know you, especially in your hometown. If it's okay, I know where you go to a gas station. You feel me? This might be see you don't even know this. That's the thing. Everybody know you, but you don't know them. You might be in your city, pull up to a gas station. It's a whole around. You'll never expect he white or all the whole time he in this car. And he try to be up here at the gas station, telling these. Trying to kill me that, like, and he not even knowing it's the move, like, they trying to kill me, he just yeah. talking. Like, just running his mouth. Yeah, I just ran into train pee, bro, he up here, right? buy a chicken from the wood, or whatever, like, buy a soap. In the street, now you, now you caught in the backfire or something. 
you came up to the mall, now that, especially in the mall, you in there for too long. Hella time, nigga. <laughs> you in the mall, you gotta go get some shoes, clothes, whatever. They're up there. They're gonna be up there quick, stopped at small. They're gonna be at the mall five, ten minutes, no matter what side of town you on. Yeah, was you uh were you doing like house parties before you was popping and shit? Never. Oh, so you wasn't even so that that's not that's another thing you <laughs> you wasn't missing out on either, huh? Never. We never did parties like niggas went to a couple little parties, but it wasn't like real parties, like like real parties, everybody everybody popping out parties, like it'll be like me and my lip or something. Mm. We'll kick that. Yeah. Like that, but it ain't never been like we pulling up to a party full of people we don't even know. Right. We don't even them them type parties never been there. That's, that's that ain't bad. A, for that ain't sure. a smart way to move. Yeah, that's gonna go all the way back for sure. Do y'all uh feel like the politics get in between the music scene? Sometimes, but I mean, not really. It just depends on the politics and we can get in the way of the music, but. Depending, like, you feel me? Some niggas just don't be giving a fuck, like, if you let another nigga pop this get in the way of music, you psyched out, but some niggas just don't be giving a fuck, but it is people that really be fucking shit up because of the politics on my mama. I feel that. How you feel about uh, rap beef? Or diss songs when uh, your names mentioned, your people's names mentioned. You had uh, Envy Nell dissing you, you, your people. What was your feeling on that? He ain't dissing me. He ain't say nothing about me, but he can't say nothing about me, bro. That nigga sucks that. But he aware that all. Anybody that be dissing us, I be feeling like we like, especially like. Niggas like him specifically, him or Haiti Baby or shit like that. Like, these niggas ain't never, you feel me? We not even, I can't even say we funky for real because y'all ain't never did none of us for real. Like, mm-hmm. oh God, so when they be making a little diss on this shit, I'll be, I'll be laughing for real. Like, <laughs> oh God. Like, this really some cloud chasing shit. I was just gonna say, you think niggas is just like, cloud chasing? We, we ain't did nothing. Like besides the little shit at the mall, when I we did the little shit at the mall, like besides that, like nigga, that nigga ain't threw a pebble at us, nigga ain't threw a pebble at y'all. He just fuck with niggas that's like you feel me, mm-hmm. that's really up with type shit. Mm-hmm. But personally, like he ain't, he really ain't got no reason, or Haiti baby or any other nigga. Some niggas really don't got no reason for her. niggas just fuck with certain niggas. I feel that. Now I'm curious, what happened at the mall? Some kid shit, we was at the mall. And then older though, he was like, I don't know, he's probably like 17, 18 at this time. But me and my niggas was like 14 and 15 and shit. And we up at the mall, and niggas like, we just sitting there, I got a red bandana on and hella shit. But he was TC Well, like TC Well just kept looking at me like, and they kept walking back and forth. I'm like, the fuck? I like, wrote these niggas on. And I tell him, like, what's up, blood? TC Love turn around, he like, the fuck, bloods, nigga, it's crit. Hella loud, like, in the middle of the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and my little niggas just got on that type shit. Like, yeah, we finna beat the fuck out these niggas. It was more than two niggas, though. It was TC Love and me there. It was a couple, it was a, they was with a couple other niggas, but the, I don't know where the other niggas went. The other niggas just disappeared. Once fish started getting thrown, they just, Disappeared as a TC That's some shit right there. I ain't going to lie. So, what do you got in store for the future? <coughs> and we need to be on the lookout for. You got any uh like any projects planned, like anything named, anything lined up, or should you maybe some viral features we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, I got some features on the way, call I got some little under shit, I'm really finna 
2023 or the next year, 2024, I'm going to start a, a clothing brand on my soul, all custom shit. And all my shit going to be one-on-one. That's what's going to make my shit go crazy. Not one thing going to be the same. Like the other people that are going to make these pants, but a thousand of these type shit. You hear me? I'm only going to make one. <laughs> one in each size. I'm not. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. I also want your opinion on this text. So, uh, rapper 1100, he had made a statement about uh, Thizzler. You feel what I'm saying? You signed to Thizzler, right? And so I just want to show. Signed, or you guys got a partnership together. Yeah, like distribution. Distribution partnership, partnership together. So, since you also got a partnership with him, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read you the what he said, and I just want your opinion on it, since you also an artist that work with them too. All right. So he said, I don't want to be on this label no more. I'm not able to take care of my family. I'm not able to open up doors for my cousins or none of this. Uh, they put plenty of niggas on this platform, but when it's my niggas, they got to join the Thizzler Live, and they also be posted sporadically. Um, when we all know the proof is in the pudding, or should I say views. What's your opinion on that? Shit. I don't know. I just feel like... Me. That's just how you got your business did. Mm. That's another thing, like, when people be trying to say shit about this, it's like, bruh, if that really is the case, or if that's really is what you got going on, nigga, that's because the way you dealt your business. I know I ain't got that going on, I ain't got no problem. Man, me and my niggas eating. For sure, for sure. I feel that, because... It's not even like... Even then, like, the rap money really not shit. Like, niggas done made, I probably done made, like, 30, 40,000 off rap, bro. You know, I only been rapping for, for, like, a year, like. But that's not shit, though, for real, like. Nigga, 40,000 a year, not shit. It's people that's working regular jobs that's making more than that. So, it's really about your hustle. You gotta do this rap shit, and then, nigga, take that rap shit and go. We'll do something else. <coughs> facts, facts. Just you get these little rap checks here and there. Now you your plays or whatever other hustle you got going on. Now you back into your rap shit. Just by doing regular shit. Uh, I'm gonna, I, now I got money. I'm to go buy some take a picture, uh, pay for a video, pay for studio. Whatever the fuck people gonna be too thick and oh he get dressed every day, oh he getting high every day, oh he buying jewelry all the time, different cars, shit like that. So I don't know, I guess it is a beat, man. Maybe you just gotta figure out your business. You gonna be doing business if you ain't gonna do it the right way or the way you want it. Some niggas gotta speak up too. Some people just get in there and let these people say whatever and be scared to tell them whatever. Like, so I don't know. But me and my niggas ain't got no bad business with this because we cool. We fuck with them. I'm on the way crazy. Mm, I feel that. What's your opinion about um, growing your own platform versus just dropping with them? I wanna grow my own platform too, but. Right now, I really don't give a fuck for real. <laughs> oh, God. Like, it don't make a difference. I feel like, like, when people be trying to say that, like, if you was on your own channel, you could be doing this, like, okay, and, like, I'm Because like, I'm pretty sure you get that a lot. You doing the same numbers, like, you feel me? Either way, like, we got songs without this or that got ends, or we got songs with this or that got the same amount of ends. Type of shit, like, so... I feel that. What's your thoughts about signing a major deal, or do you think you're gonna stay independent forever? A major deal. Major deal. Like they controlling everything. Three sixty. No, I'm playing. I know three sixty. I want to do. I feel like if I sign a major deal, I gotta do. I need a good ass deal. I need a ninety ten deal. Ooh, a 90 and I need 10. To pay. And I need a meal. Uh, what's your, I'm finna say, what's your advance? One meal? Two meal for sure. Two meal? At least two. 
Okay, yeah, you gotta reach high because you, know, you know you're gonna try to negotiate. For sure. I'll reach for two mils, but, but I'll day, take a meal if y'all talking. That's about. the thing when when people be signing for a meal, two meal, you gotta think about it, bro. They're signing you and they're gonna make damn near ten mil. I was gonna say you. like ten, probably more. <laughs> like you feel me? Depending on how how you create. Yeah, that's just true. So, um, uh, label better come correct. What's uh, what's some of your goals with your music that you're trying to like accomplish this year that you didn't maybe accomplish last year? You think? I really did everything I wanted to do last year for it. Mm. I wanted this car. I wanted to buy this car. I wanted to buy this this jewelry. I wanted to buy this house. Go out of state here or whatever. I did all that shit. This year I got some whole new set of goals, a whole different car, a whole different route type shit. Well, man, let us know some goals. Feel me? Inspire some of these niggas that's really watching you. You feel me? Like I want to be like Trey. Yeah, I'm trying to. You feel me? Like what was Trey B goals for this year with his shit? Man, what, what you feel me? Shit, get some more money, faster cars. Something exclusive, shit like that. More diamonds, <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. Oh God, all to them TNT for sure. Facts, they gotta respect the drip 2023. Oh God. So, uh, what's your last thoughts that you want to leave off to your fans that's watching you right now? Yeah, this is how disrespectful this nigga be. Ask him a question, he's just gonna sit here and ignore me, y'all. You see all these rappers do star, man? That was cool. What happened? Last thoughts. We wrapping, we wrapping this up. Uh, let these people know. Last thing you want to let them know. Shit. Go follow me on Instagram. Go tap in. Or go run that new album, Stick Up Kid Up. Nigga, tap in with this nigga Star Quality. Shout out my man's on them, too. Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe on that one for too. I can get a nigga popping. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch, you can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that. I can get a nigga popping. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch, you can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that. I can get a nigga popping if you pay me. No free shit, we count the money on the daily.